okay dear students let us see what is there in this question a plus 3 coulomb charge and a minus 4 coulomb charge are at a distance x apart okay this p is the point which is uh, again x distance from plus 3 coulomb charge on the straight line joining the charges what is the magnitude of the electric field strength at p so we need to find the magnitude of electric field strength at p okay so uh, positive field will be having a positive electric field i can say so because of this positive charge the electric field at this place will be away from the positive charge so i can call it e positive and this is negative charge so negative charge will try to attract this thing okay so this will be known as e negative so first of all let us find what is e positive now so what is e positive so e positive positive charge is here so as we know the formula is given by 1 by 4 pi f star naught q divided by r where q is the source charge and r is the distance between the point p and the and the and the charge so it will come out to be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q is taken as plus 3 we have to substitute the values now and the distance will be taken as s because we are talking about this charge and the point this so the distance will be x now if i talk about e negative so similarly it will be having the same formula but instead of this charge instead of 3 coulomb now we are considering minus 4 so we can take it as minus 4 also or not to confuse ourselves because the electric field strength is a vector quantity so anyways we have to take care of the direction so we can only uh, take magnitude here in our consideration so 4 is here and what is the total distance between the point p and the charge it is 2x so it becomes i'm just calling it k electro electric force constant k so it will be 4 divided by 4x square and this can be taken as k into 3 divided by x square. So there we are, there are two forces and now both of the forces are acting opposite to each other. So we can just supply a negative sign from our side. So we can say what is E net? So E net will be E positive minus E minus. So it will be 3 times k by x square minus k by x square so it will become twice of k by x square so now because i know that there is no answer in the terms of k we have to open this k so it will become 2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught x square so it will be 2 here so my answer is going to be 1 divided by 1 divided by 2 pi epsilon naught x square and there we go the answer is b so this is how we do it okay and um, it's a very simple question but there are many concepts involved okay so it is uh, an obvious thing that student will be making some kind of a clerical mistake or a mistake in some formula or something so that's why you be you need to be very careful in such kind of questions so with this, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also try to join my Discord server. All the best. Bye.